that fixes your meeting. And so we surrender before you, confessing that we need you. Jesus, fill this place today. Fill this place today. Let your presence flow in this place. Touch us today, Lord. We pray that you may take over this meeting for it is yours. And Father, everything that is done here, it is not entertainment, it is a praise and celebration to you. And so let the sick be healed. Let this day be a day of deliverance and salvation. And may your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say.
oppression that keeps us in illness, that keeps us in your name. So today we exalt your name. Thank you for the kingdom of God. We have overcome because of your blood, because of your blood, because of your power, because of your anointing, because of your grace. That is why we are standing to say, to proclaim, to proclaim. We have a sacred. We proclaim Jesus. We proclaim Jesus. That we are more than overcome by the blood of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God who was slain for our blood. But now we can have everlasting life in His heart. Glory to His Lamb. Glory to His Lamb. Shekata Yana. Riba Sekete. Riba Sekete. Riba Sekete. Riba Sekete. Your name, Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for your salvation and your power, Lord. We declare that you reign in this place, Lord. Take your service, 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 thank you, Jesus. We have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. Thank you for the great sacrifice that today we can celebrate Jesus. Katika uwanja huu tunainua mikono yetu mbele za Bwana. Kama ishara kwamba tunatambua kazi ya msalaba. Kama ishara kwamba tunasema wewe Yesu unatosha kati ya zaidi ya yote. Asante kwa kutoshendesha maisha yetu mfano. Thank you Jesus. Unatosha Yesu.
resurrect in our hearts. Praise God. Amen. As you sing, sing as if you'll never sing again. You'll never see this day again. Praise God. Amen. Amen.
Gloria a Jesús. Oh, my God. 
To the count of three, upatia yesu a crazy noise. One, two, three, give him a shout. Can we try can we try something for three minutes? Dancing is spiritual. Tell your neighbor it is spiritual. Watch and yeka he hapa kidogo to sakatia yesu kiasi. Sasa wa eh? How many people are ready? How many Africans do we have here? How many Africans do we have here? No singing, just dancing, just dancing. Can we go to Western? Can we go to Western? One, two, three, four, turn it. To the count of three. One, two, three, turn down. Here I am a jamani. Music be like that so. Tunaanza 
pole pole tutafika climax. Samia mwanzako tunaenda mpaka climax. But wacha tufike central kidogo. 1 2 3 4 Ruka 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 ruka. Haya twende 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 Wapi nduru ya Yesu? Alafu tunaimba hivi tunaimba hivi. Twendele. Morodi wa juda o kangoro. Morodi wa juda. Morodi wa juda o kangoro. Give your neighbor high five and tell your neighbor to not fika ukambani do sa hi. Na sasa apa tunaza na climax. Jitarisha, jitarisha, jitarisha. Watcha unguana, watcha unguana. Just prepare yourself. Do like this. One, one, two. of children we are not releasing them to go to their Sunday, to their classes but i want us to pray for them come on a feel you gonna rock my sunday school x mama to come on a feel young at heart other is unes a kachini praise the lord we want to give somebody a chance to pray for them put your hands together for judah the drumist come and pray for the children appreciate him Amen, amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, amen. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, we commit our children unto you. And we pray that as they depart to the Sunday school, to, as they stay with us, O oh God, that you may help them, O oh God, that you may give them concentration, and that you may give them discipline from above. We thank you and we honor you. We give you glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to have some presentations here. Presentations. So we are going to have some presentations and everything that is done on this altar today, it is worship. But before we get the uh, presentations, I want us to have the announcements. And the first announcement is that we are celebrating Jesus is no longer on the, in the grave. He is risen. Tell your neighbor you are doing so bad. Ninasema the first announcement it is that Jesus is no longer in the grave. Jesus is risen. Number two, we want to recognize and to appreciate all the Sunday school ministers, the Sunday school teachers. Ngoja, unajua? Kwa unge kumelelewa ile Sunday school mimi nililelewa. Ile ya kwamba the only song tulikuwa tunajua ni kwamba shetani ni itakusema. Kumba munajua hiyo. Munga wa appreciate in a better way. Can, you, can we put our hands together for the Sunday school ministers? 
God bless you so much for the work that you are doing. We recognize you. We honor you. Teacher Becky and the team, God bless you so much for what you are doing in the life of our children. The other day I had my son who is almost four years old singing that I love my Bible. I love my Bible and I do it. I read it and I do it. Nikasema afadhali ngekuwa ni mimi sahi. Sisi tuliambiwa. Nasikia. Kichwa. Mikono na mgongo. Mikono na mgongo. Mikono na migu. Yesu you hide. Si muna jisikia nyue nye vile muko hapa. So let's appreciate them again in a better way. God bless you. Number two, we want to recognize the one who has beautified this field. It looks like it is my wedding day. Unajua wengine munakata kupika makofi na ukiambiwa utengeneze hapa. Ebuliza jirani yako kwa kwa uliacha kuika aje. Ask your neighbor, how did you leave your house? Please, let's appreciate our sister Bobo. Where is Bobo? Bobo, are you in the congregation? Kindly stand up on your feet. We want to recognize you. We want to appreciate you. Where is she? Akwa ki mrefu sana. Kwa hivyo muangalia vizuri. Wandugu muko hapa. Kama Bobo anaweza tengeneza hivi si anaweza tengeneza roho yako. Let's appreciate her again in the name of Jesus. God bless you so much Bobo. This coming Saturday on the 6th of April. From 8:30 p.m. 8:30 a.m. to 5 p.m. we'll be having a worship conference here. This is for the worship ministers but if you you feel that you can be part of it you are so much welcome. And after the training if you are not in the praise and worship please plan to join. On Sunday 7th tell your neighbor on Sunday 7th. Ongeza volume 10 asema 7th. We'll be having the ministry of the founder of Cornerstone Faith Assembly right here. We'll be having our bishop Dr. Francis Kamau will be ministering to us together with the team from the US. So let's appreciate God for that man of God. And then at 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. That is on Sunday, this coming Sunday. We'll be meeting for a moment of worship. And so on Sunday, don't, don't be in a hurry to leave. You can carry packed lunch. Na kuna mtu anauliza hapa, kwani mwezi tupikia? Atuwezi wapikia sande mbili, ayi? Yani tuwapikia lana, tuwapikia sande. Wee sande beba packed lunch. Nambia mweza hako beba packed lunch. And this place will be full of fire. Amen. Something amazing is happening at Cornerstone. How many people can agree with me? Then from Monday 8th and Tuesday 9th, we'll be having a DCPI, Dynamic Church Planting International Training. This is for leaders and pastors here at Cornerstone. So plan to attend if you are a, you know you you are a leader a leader at heart or a leader in practice. From Tuesday this coming Tuesday because our children have closed schools. They will be embarking on what we call the terrific Tuesday. So you can allow your children age six to twelve to come and attend from two p.m. to. 2 p.m. from 2 p.m. That is from when? From when? And then on Wednesday and every Wednesday, all children will be required to come, I guess from the same ages, 6 to 12. For a new program called, not, not a program per se, but a new ministry called Worship Wednesday. Isn't it amazing for our children to gather here to worship Jesus? So are you going to release or to give 
ruhusa kizungu ni ngumu ruhusa watoto wako wakuje will you give your children permission to attend god bless you so much as you do that mungu abariki sana mnapofanya hivyo on that day is our home fellowship day alhabisi ni siku ya shirika za nyumbani and if you have never attended any fellowship please purpose to attend this time na kama hujai hudhuria tafadhali hii wakati hudhuria sio vizuri tu kuja sande peke yake ambia mwanzo wako sikuwaki vizuri it's not good to only come on ch- to church on Sunday. Mungu alia haki mtaongea. Ambia mwanzako sio vizuri kujaga tu sande peke yake. This Thursday those people from Wanye Road, you know this area Ngando Gidembe. This fellowship is called Emmanuel Fellowship. They will be gathering in the house of Sara Modoni or Mama Davela. Alhamisi hii wa kikundi cha Emmanuel Fellowship watakuwa wanapatana kwa nyumba ya Mama Davela Sara Modoni. And please if you like to host us hata kama unakaa wapi. Na kama ungetaka kutuungane nawe kwako. Please see us. See me after the break. Unaweza mchungaji baada ya hii. Then the Waidaka zone Waidaka fellowship will be gathering in the house of Mary Wanjiko. Shirika la Waidaka watakuwa wanapatana kwa nyumba ya Mary Wanjiko. They call themselves the Bereans. Wanajiita Bereans. The youth will be having a program on the 10th of April. Bana yule watakuwa na watakuwa na mkutano tarehe kumi. Not mkutano a program. Watakuwa na tukio to visit a children's home. Kwenda kutembelea children's home. And they are requesting if you can you have anything to donate, something good to donate. Na wanaomba kwa kuna matoleo vitu mzuri unazotoa. Something good I mean hiyo nguo yako mzuri yenye unapenda. That beautiful dress that you love. Yenye meraruka tumia kama raga. Bwana asifiwe. Ambia mwanzako ile mzuri. Bring that cloth. Bring food stuff, bring your money. It is very important to plant. Leta vyakula, leta pesa ni vizuri sana kupanda. That will be on the 10th. And then from 18th of April. Na tarehe 18. The youth will be having a, a camp right here in this campus. Na wana youth watakuwa na camp hapa kwenye kanisa. Nimesikia wachacha wamepiga nduru. They will they will be coming to camp. Watakuja hapa ku camp. Wazazi mmesikia vile watoto wenu wapendi kukaa kwenu? Sasa watakuwa nakuja ukaa church siku tatu amen. There is a registration and that will be announced. The registration The registration <laughs> The registration is how much? Kuna kujisajilisha. 1500 imepunguka. Amen. Na pesa ni shilingi 1000 moja. Na kama ulikuwa umetoa 2000 tafadhali usiende 500 ni tabia mbaya. And don't ask for change. <laughs> Now I want us to put our hands together as we, re- we receive the papetias. Put your hands together for it Jesus as they come. So praise God. Praise God again. So uh, we are the Sunday papetias we are going to present to you and uh, I hope you are going to be blessed with that, eh? Yeah. After the puppeteers William prepare.
Hallelujah. 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 Next on stage is Sir William. Put your hands together for William. Then Naomi, prepare yourself. Lord Church Bwana Yesu asifiwe watoto asifiwe eh Wacha tu Hallelujah My name is William um I teach uh Kwa majina ni William So um, I teach 12 years old boys and um, we've been going through the book of uh, Acts of the Apostles. Uh, alongside we've been studying um, the prophecy of Isaiah 53. Hallelujah. And so we've been trying uh, to put it in our hearts, Isaiah 53, the prophecy. And... Um, because today it's all about Jesus. This season it's all about Jesus. We would like to um, share this prophecy with all of us um, so that uh, we remember our Savior, what he went through uh, because of our sins. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to recite it now from the Good News Translation. So if you have your Bibles, you can open to Isaiah 53 verse 1 all the way to verse 12. Are we ready children? Yes. A good number of our children have um, Isaiah 53 memorized. And we thank God for that. Naomi, are you going to help me? Yes. Naomi is going to help me. We recite together Isaiah 53. Alright. One, two, three. Let's start. The people reply who would have believed what we now report who could have seen the lord's hand in this it was the will of the lord that his servant grow like a plant taking root in dry ground he had no dignity or beauty to make us take notice of him there was nothing attractive about him nothing that would draw us to him we despised him and rejected him. He endured suffering and pain. No one would even look at him. We ignored him as if he were nothing. But he endured the suffering that should have been ours, the pain that should have been that we should have borne. All the while we thought that his suffering was punishment sent by God. But because of our sins, he was wounded. Beaten because of the evil we did. We are healed by the punishment he suffered. Made whole by the blows he received. All of us were like sheep that were lost. Each of us going his own way. But the Lord made the punishment fall on him. The punishment all of us deserved. He was treated harshly, but endured it humbly. He never said a word. Like a lamb about to be slaughtered, like a sheep about to be sheared, he never said a word. Verse 8, he was arrested and sentenced and led off to die, and no one cared about his fate. He was put to death for the sins of our people. Verse 9, he was placed in a grave with those who are evil. He was buried with the rich, even though he had never committed a crime or ever told a lie. The Lord says, it was my will that he should suffer. 
his death was a sacrifice to bring forgiveness and so he will see his descendants he will live a long life and through him my purpose will succeed after a life of suffering he will again have joy he will know that he did not suffer in vain my devoted servant with whom i am pleased will bear the punishment of many and for his sake i will forgive him i will forgive them and so i will give him a place, a place of, honor, of honor a place among the great and powerful he willingly gave his life and shared the fate of evil men he took the place of many sinners and prayed that they might be forgiven isaiah 53 may the lord bless you put your hands together for jesus Angalia jirani yako muulize wewe unajua gani? Now next on stage we are going to have Naomi. Naomi amemaliza yake. Pigieni makofi. Naomi ameniambia kazi yake ilikuwa ni kuintasidia William. So mweke makofi mazuri 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 mazuri. Clap for Naomi. Sasa wadada mko hapa na unaomba Mungu akupatie mzee. Si William wako sawa tu. Yaani anakusomea tu scripture. Jesus changed the water into wine but I can change you into mine. Let's get your story. Now let's put our hands together for the praise team as they come back. Hallelujah. Celebrate them. Celebrate them as they come back. Salaba ndio Nita Nina uzi Amen. And this is not a presentation. Feel free to join us. Feel free to dance with us. Feel free to sing the song and proclaim for yourself. Otherwise, you are welcome to just sit and be blessed.
Stand up on your feet. We are in the presence of Jesus. At the cross of Jesus, everything is possible. It is a moment of prayer, and I want to invite my fellow ministers to join me. You are there, maybe you are sick in your body or you have any need. Jesus is right here and he wants to meet you there is nothing that is impossible with him so I want to invite you to come down to where these ministers are standing and join them as they pray with you today believe God for a miracle in the name of Jesus so you are welcome to join us
just to confirm that we are in the same page, give your neighbor another high five and tell your neighbor, I'm so happy today. <laughs> Lakini wengine unasema I'm so happy na umeeka tu sura umenuna. Hebu smile kidogo na useme I'm so happy. Amen. Amen. We are about to hear the word of God. I tell you today we are in for a great service. Naambia leo tuko kwenye ibada njema. I don't know how to introduce the preacher. But, but, but let me introduce him as the spirit of God will lead me. Yesterday we had a very powerful men meet eating service. Church, tulikula nyambu kama kama bwana yako alifika nyumbani na hakula sapa acha nikwambie ni kwa nini hakula. If your husband came home and he didn't want to take supper, they ate two goats and they finished it. Are you listening? Are you listening? Amen. 25 kgs of flour. <laughs> So we thank God. And the man that was speaking yesterday is my biological father. My biological father. Now, he is 76 years old now. And he still loves Jesus. He loves Jesus. Now, today, Tell your neighbor today. Now to that muzee, walo waze mulimona, I said yesterday, this is something that I don't like saying because I'm busika evil. Nilisema ya koma mindi yo last born. Lakini wajyo, lakini yyo ishi hapo, sawa? Mindi yo last born. Yyo ni kumanisha ya koma, I have brothers and sisters amba wa kombele yangu. Yeye ni kitila mimba, kwa hivyo inamanisha kuna ndugu na dada wa leo mbele yake. We are born in a family of eight. Wamezaliwa wakiwa watoto nane. I am the eighth born. We have the sixth born. And today, is it is it the fifth or the sixth? When you hear some sometimes in a dash, I got two fifth dama six. I'm here myself for fifth dama six. Today he is here in our midst. He is a man of God. A pastor who pastored me for seven years. He's my brother, biological brother, but he was my pastor for seven years. Uh, sitting under his anointing, not because he's my brother, but because he's a servant of God. Every time we are in the ministry, we don't see ourselves as brothers, we see ourselves as co ministers. In this life, he has taught me many things. He has taught me how to play the keyboard. The last one is the most important one. He has also taught me how to do business. Can I tell you what kind of a business he taught me? Amen. Nimeuza maka And he's a man who has worked with me. That time when uh, my parents realized that Siva was not, I was just in the ministry serving God and I was not thinking of getting married. They sent him. Wakamtuma. And the way, you know he's a polite guy. So the, the way he approached me was so so spiritual. <laughs> he told me, you know, brother, unajua, this ministry you're doing is very good. But when you do it when you are married, it's even better. How did I know that he was sent? Immediately after 30 minutes, I received a call from my mom. Did Charles tell you what I told I told her? I told him. <laughs> so I really thank God for that. And before we in Tafadhali wale watu wanasemanga ya koma na unakaa wewe ndio mkubwa. Tafadhali hiyo tabia usikuwe nayo baada ya ibada. Alinibeba so ndio maana haku 
Amen. So, can you stand up everybody church? Put your hands together for Pastor Charles Maina Karioki as he comes to minister. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to give you permission to greet five people, tell them happy Easter, happy Easter, happy Easter. Make, make sure you are smiling. Amen. Happy Easter, happy Easter, happy Easter. If you can, you can give them a high five. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Uh, as we are remaining standing I want to appreciate uh, uh, the leadership of Cornerstone Faith Assembly uh, and uh, Reverend Randy together with Pastor let's put our hand together for them Amen can we do it better? for extending this invitation to me I don't take it for granted that there are many people who are to be here who could have been here but they honor me with this chance now to me cornerstone is home amen Amina. Praise the Lord. I remember one time uh, I was meeting I met Bishop Kamau in Bungoma. Nakumbuka siku moja nilikutana na askofu Kamau pale Bungoma. I was serving God there. Nilikuwa namhudumia Mungu pale. And he told me servant of God. Nakaniambia muhudumu wake Mungu. I feel we move to Nairobi. Najihisi ya kwanza tuenende na wewe Nairobi. Let's go and serve God there. Wacha tuende tumhudumie Mungu pale Nairobi. So when I see Amen. That's what happened when you mentioned a good thing. So it is not when we are here. Praise the Lord. Can I make announcement? The ultimate goal today it is to see Jesus. Tell your neighbor Jesus. Whisper to another one Jesus. Turn to another one and tell them Jesus. Amen. Amina. All dimension is who? Can I hear you, you shout Jesus? Yes. Amen. So my name is Pastor Charles. Jina lake ni mchungaji Charles. He has given enough introduction. Ya ametoa ile utangulizi ambao unatosha. And I want just to also to introduce Jesus again. Na pia ningependa kumleteni nyinyi kwetu Yesu tena. Amen. Amina. Turn with me in the book of John chapter 19 as you are standing. Pinduka nami katika kitabu cha Yohana 19 mnaposimama. John chapter 19. Yohana 19. I will read from verse 14 there. Nitasoma kuanzia mlango wa 14 pale. If you in John chapter 19 verse 14 you can give me an amen. Kama umefika pale unaweza nipatie amina. If you in John chapter 19 verse 14 say amen. Kama uko pale Yohana 19 sema amina. And it was the preparation of the Passover and about six hour he said unto the Jews Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. They took Jesus and led him away, and, bear, and he bared the cross. And he be bearing the cross went forth into a place called a place of a skull which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. Uh, as you are still there I want us also to read the book of Genesis chapter 22. I want us to combine so that we continue. Tukiwa pale tunaweza pia soma mwanzo 22. Genesis chapter 22. Mwanzo 22. Verse 4 there. 
Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw a place far off. And Abraham said unto the young man, Abide ye with us, and I and the land will go yonder and worship, and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. He looked to the fire, uh, he took the fire in his hand and a knife. Then they went both together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb of burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both together. And they came to a place. Somebody say a place. They came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar and laid the wood in order. And bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Our Father and our God in the name of Jesus. Again we stand on this altar to honor your name. In this moment we are commemorating about the death and the, uh, the resurrection of Christ. We thank you because of the divine inspiration that you have for us. May you turn this logo word to be Rema in our hearts today. Allow your spirit to give us divine inspiration. Your word says that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth from his mouth your word is what we want today as we have declared on this day today that our ultimate goal our purpose our objective it is to see you Jesus may you be manifest in our lives devil we announce to you you have no portion in our lives no portion in our families no portion in our ministry we exalt Jesus in this place you say that we exalt you and you shall draw men towards yourself Lord we bless you and we give you honor in Jesus name we pray and believe before you sit, just put your hand together now for Jesus. You can do it better in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May you have your seats. God bless you. Happy Easter. Can I, can I hear you? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Amen. Amen. Today is a very wonderful day. Leo ni siku ambayo ni siku ku when Jesus is no longer in the grave where he was placed he is no longer there he has risen somebody say he has risen I know it has been a busy week to some of us I know people are remembering the death and the resurrection of Jesus in their own way over the week I could meet people on the road there some were walking praying Wengine walikuwa ki some were carrying the cross. Some were doing their own things. Even some of us are here. Maybe you have a wooden cross in your, in your, in your, in your pocket. Whichever style you are commemorating. The ultimate goal today. It is to see him. Who is no longer in the grave. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to go with me? Praise the Lord. So I want to bring forth the word of God for the few minutes that are coming. And the title of the message is uh, The Sight of the Purpose. Is it Maono? It's okay. The Sight of the Purpose. Yeah. 
mahali pa kusudi. Let, let, let him do it in his own, in his own style. Amen. Yeah, purpose so, ni maono. Yes, the sight of the purpose. Yeah, kusudi la maono. And uh, yeah, it's true. The sight is the same as the vision. Yeah, ile hali ya kuona ni sawa na kuwa na maono. And when we talk about the, the vision here wakati tunanena kuhusu maono hapa it is the ability to see the end of something ni, while you're still in the beginning ile hali ya kuona mwisho wa kitu kiwa katika utangulizi amen amina and i want to start by saying this nataka kuanza kwa kusema hivi a close walk with god ile kutembea na yesu kwa karibu will make his sight or his vision more clearer itafanya ile maono yake ama ile kumuona yesu ikuwe ijidhirishe kwa salama amen amina the jesus we are talking about here today yesu ambaye tunamnenea siku ya leo he is revealed to his sons. Yeye amefunguliwa kwa wana wake. Amen. Amina. The Jesus that we are talking about. Yesu ambaye tunamnenea. He is not explained. Yeye hawezi akanenewa. But he is Jesus who is revealed. Lakini ni Yesu ambaye amefunuliwa kwetu. For you to receive a revelation of Jesus. Uweze kupokea maono yake Yesu. You must walk along with him. Ni lazima utembee pamoja naye. It is not a one day thing. Sio jambo la siku moja. Are we together church? Je, tuko pamoja kanisa? Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And walking with God. Na kutembea naye Mungu. It calls for obedience. Inaita ile hali ya kutii. I have read two illustration here. Nimesoma mafungu miwili. The book of Genesis to, uh, chapter 22. Kitabu cha Mwanzo 22. And the book of John chapter 19. Na Yohana 19. Both texts are the same. Zote mbili ziko sawa. They are reciprocal. Uh, Zote zinasemezana kwa pamoja. They are not duplicate to each other. Siati zote ni sehemu ya ingine. But one is the shadow of another one. Lakini ile nyingine ni kifungu ya nyingine. If you study the book of John, uh, uh, Genesis chapter 22 what was happening? Unaposoma mwanzo 22 kile kikwa kitendeka. It explains what would come to pass later in the book of John chapter 19. Inielezea kile ambacho kilikuja katika Yohana 19. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So here we see the son uh, the Bible says that and God decided to test Abraham. Na Biblia inasema Mungu akaamua kumjaribu Abrahamu. And he told him to go and offer his son. Akamwambia ende kutoa mwanae kama dhabihu. And the Bible says the following day, Biblia inasema siku iliyofuatilia, Abraham prepared his son Isaac together with his servants. Abrahamu akaandaa mwanae pamoja na wajakazi wake. So we see the son Isaac obeying the father. Kwa tunamwona Isaac akimtii babake. So for you to get the revelation of the father. Kwa hivyo wewe upate kufunua wake baba. It calls you to obey. Ni lazima wewe utii. Can I say this as I begin? Wacha niseme inapoanza. The obedience of the son. Ya kwamba ule kutii mwana determines the outcome of the father. Inaashiria ni nini baba atatenda. If the sons in this house will not obey. Kama vijana katika nyumba hii hawatatii. Then the outcome will be wanting somebody. Ile matokeo itakuwa inaumiza mtu. If you are ready to obey Jesus say amen. Kama uko tayari kumtii Yesu sema amina. Now I'm sharing about the sight now of the pup. Mimi nashiriki kuhusu ile kutangulizwa kuona. Now what is the purpose? Je, kusudi nini? The us kusudi the purpose is the original intention of the manufacturer. Ya kwamba kusudi ni ile hali ya mule ambaye alikuwa akitengeneza kwa mara ya kwanza. When the manufacturer is uh, manufacturing a product. Wakati ule mtu anatengeneza kitu, there is that original intent that kuna, he has. Kuna ile hali ya kiasili ambayo yuko nayo. Now that tells me, hiyo inaniambia, where there is no purpose, waka mahali hapana kusudi. There is a malfunction. Kuna hali ya yenendi vyema. Can I say something? Wacha niseme jambo. God made you for a purpose. Mungu aliku mbako kwa sababu ya kusudi amen amina you are not here by an accident wewe hauko hapa kwa sababu but ya kusudi you are here for a purpose lakini uko hapa kwa sababu ya kusudi praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe and your purpose na kusudi lako begins to get meaning inaanza kupata maana the moment you begin to walk with the manufacturer wakati unaanza kutembea na ule ambaye alikuumba in this easter katika pasaka hii the manufacturer is jesus yule ambaye aliumba ni yesu amen amen you will begin to get your purpose utaanza kupona kusudi lako the moment you begin to walk with him wakati utaanza kutembea naye amen amina can i say something uh, let me get deeper with this what ingie kilindi na hii when we talk about the purpose wakati tunanena kuhusu kusudi between you and your purpose kati yako na kusudi the lord has laid number of problems bwana ameleta mashida kadhaa amen amina do you know something je unajua jambo god did not send jesus 
Mungu hakumtuma tu Yesu to do what is easy. Yafanya ile ambayo ilikuwa rahisi. But God sent Jesus. Lakini Mungu alimtuma Yesu to do what is divine. Kufanya ambaye ile ni ya kiungu. Maybe when I'm speaking about this message. Pengine ninaponena kuhusu ujumbe huu. What you are seeing before kile unaona mbele yako it is difficulty ni ngumu it is hard circumstances mambo ambayo ni ngumu it is hard situation ni mambo ambayo hai i want to make a declaration nataka kutangaza that you are going to reach your purpose na kwamba utaweza kufika kusudi lako whether the devil will like it or not kama shetani anataka mapenzi because i understand it is not easy sio rahisi but it is divine lakini ni ya kiungu your purpose is not easy kusudi lako sio rahisi but it is divine lakini ni ya kiungu the good work that the lord began in you kazi nzuri ambayo mbona He's going to accomplish it. Whether the devil likes it or not. In the name of Jesus. If you are in this purpose, shout amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did I say something? Between you and your purpose. There are some giants that are lying. Kuna majitu ambazo zipo. Amen. Amina. You have to defeat these giants. Lazima uwashinde hizo majitu. For you to achieve your purpose. Uweze kuweza kupata kusudi lako. Amen. Amina. What I want to say is. Kile nataka kusema ni. Between you and your purpose. Kati yako na kusudi lako. There are some kings. Kuna wale wafalme. That you have to defeat. Lazima uwashinde. For you to reach your purpose. Uweze kufika katika kusudi lako. I began this sermon by saying. Nianza u Our purpose it is to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our purpose today kusudi letu si leo is to see Jesus. So every giant that is lying between me ambayo iko katikati yangu and my purpose na kusudi langu must give way. Lazima itoke. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. Amen. Do you know your purpose unajua kusudi lako it is placed on the side of impossibility imewekwa katika upande ule mwingine mambo ambayo haiwezekani but the possibility begins lakini uwezekano unaanza when you begin to see your purpose wakati unaanza kuona kusudi lako be ready today kuwa tayari siku ya leo during easter siku ya pasaka to open your eyes uweze kufungua macho yako focus your life uweze kuwekuwa na mwelekeo don't look at your circumstances usiangalie hali zako begin to look at your purpose anza kuangalia kusudi lako our purpose is kusudi langu ni jesus yes who is exhausted baya ambaye inuliwa amen amina the bible says biblia nasema He bared our bodies. Yakomba alibeba mizigo zetu. He carried our sins. Akabeba dhambi zetu. He was crucified. Yeye akasubiwa. And while he was there, na alipokuwa pale, he declared, akatangaza, it is finished. Yakomba imeisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the good news is, Wewe unjabari njema ni. Even if there some giants, hata kama kuna majitu, even if there some impossibilities, hata kuna uwe mama iwezekani. But Jesus says, lakini Yesu anasema, it is finished. Imeisha. Amina. Amina. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let me take you back to the text now. Wacha niwarudishe katika andiko. The Bible says. Biblia inasema uh, in Genesis 22. Katika mwanzo 22. Verse 4. Mstari wa 4. That on the third day. Kwamba kwa siku ya tatu. Can somebody say on the third day? Mtu anaweza sema katika siku ya tatu. Did I hear you say on the third day? Nimesikia ukisema katika siku ya tatu. On the third day katika siku ya tatu Abraham Abrahamu saw the place afar off akaona hiyo mahali ikiwa kwa umbali There is a place kuna mahali there is seeing kuna kuona and there is Abraham na kuna Abrahamu The Bible says Biblia inasema on the third day siku ya tatu there is power in number three kuna nguvu katika nambari tatu The Bible says Biblia inasema when Jesus was put in the tomb wakati Yesu aliyekuwa katika kaburi after the third day baada ya siku tatu he resurrected yeye yeah, akafufuka so today kwa hivyo siku ya leo is the day of resurrection siku ya ufufuko praise the lord but on the third day siku ya tatu he saw akaona are we together Je, tuko pamoja? Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. On the he saw siku ya tatu akaona. You shall begin to see things clearly. Utaanza kuona vitu kwa njia nzuri when Jesus bring resurrection in your life. Wakati Yesu analeta ufufuo katika maisha yako. Whatever was dead in your life ambacho kilikuwa kimekufa katika maisha yako. He is going to resurrect on the third day. Ni lazima ifufuke siku ya tatu. May the vision that God has given you. Wacha maono ambayo Yesu Mungu amekupa that 
seem to be dead ambayo inaonekana kama imekufa that was forgotten ambayo ilikuwa imesahulika may your story what are the people begin to resurrect yanze kufufuka hallelujah hallelujah may today what a siku ya leo you are that day wewe siku ya siku ya tatu what am i saying kinasema nini the that day siku ya tatu is also the that dimension ni siku ya niulingo pia wa tatu it is the that way ni njia ya tatu maybe you have tried one way lakini umejaribu njia moja it didn't work for you haikufanyika kwa kwako lakini leo may it be your that way wacha iwe siku yako ya tatu because jesus says kwa sababu yesu anasema whatever was dead kila ambacho kilikuwa kimekufa lazima ifufuke hallelujah hallelujah when i'm speaking about this wakati tunaponenea hili i want us to see beyond the cross nataka tuangalie zaidi ya msalaba the purpose was more than this kusudi ilikuwa zaidi ya hii can i say something niseme jambo the purpose of easter kusudi ya pasaka it is more than carrying a wooden a wooden cross ni zaidi ya kubeba tu msalaba ambao umetengenezwa mbao there is something deeper than that kuna kitu cha ndani zaidi ya hiyo may you receive the purpose today wewe unapokea kusudi leo hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord The Bible says Biblia nasema that on the that day siku ya tatu he saw akaona and Abraham Abraham after he saw the place baada ya kuona hapo mahali he turned to the servants akapindukia wale wajakazi wake and he told them na akawaambia excuse me excuse me You are going to remain here with us. Mtaenda kubaki hapa. But I and the son. Lakini mimi na mwana wangu. We shall go yonder. Sisi tutaenda zaidi. And worship. Na twende tuabudu. We shall go yonder and worship. Sisi tutaenda zaidi kuabudu. We shall come back to you. Tutabarejeeni baadaye. I want you to look at this. Nataka uangalie hii maneno. The servants wale wajakazi were not included to be part of the sacrifice. Hawakuwa wameingizwa wa kuwa sehemu ya kutoa dhabihu. They were not meant to reach the altar. Hawakuwa wafike kwa madhabahu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That means hiyo inamaanisha for you to see your papa. Ndio wewe uone kusudi lako. There are number of things. Kuna mambo kadhaa. There are number of people. Kuna watu kadhaa. You shall live on some levels. Lazima uache katika viwango fulani. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Waebrania. Chapter 12. Lango wa 12 there. Mstari wa 12. That we are surrounded na kwamba sisi tumezingirwa crowd of witness kwa kuna watu ambao ni wengi let us lay down wacha tuweke kando Every, everything that we carry kila, everything that we entangles us kila kitu ambacho kimetufunga and let us fix our eyes na wacha tuelekeze macho yetu unto jesus kwake yesu who is the alpha ambaye ni mwanzilishi and the finisher of our faith ambaye anamalizia imani yetu let me tell you something wacha nikwambie jambo when you are headed towards the goal unapoenda katika malengo or towards the purpose ambaye katika kusudi there is some things you are going to leave behind mambo lazima uache nyuma Servants, wajakazi. Excuse me. Excuse me. You have to remain here. Lazima mbaki hapa. Because my desire is kwa sababu it is to langu. see my purpose. Ni kuona kusudi langu. Amen. Amina. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You may not find Jesus. Unaweza kukosa kumuona Yesu. Where the multitude are. Wakati wako wako. Sometimes it will force you. Wakati nyingine itakuwa ngumu. To leave them behind. Kuacha nyuma. To leave them behind. Kuacha nyuma. So that you may see Jesus. Kwa sababu kaweza kumuona Yesu. Whatever Yesu. is hindering you. Kila mtu kile kuzuia. Be ready today. Kuwa tayari siku leo. Leave it behind. Kuacha nyuma. Move to the goal. Wendele kwa malengo. The goal is Jesus. Lengo ni Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul said, Paulo akasema, What shall I gain? Nitafaidika nini? receive the whole world nikipata ulimwengu wote and i miss christ i better leave the world afadhali niache ulimwengu go i see jesus niende nimuone yesu hallelujah hallelujah can i tell you something naweza kuambia jambo your days are numbered siku zako zimehesabiwa you are here for an assignment uko hapa kwa sababu ya jambo fulani hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe but before your days are over lakini kabla siku zako zimeisha make sure that you hold jesus hakikisha kwamba umemshika yesu somebody shout jesus sema yesu can you shout jesus Pasa sauti useme Yesu. Yeah. Some people have entangled to things and people and whatever. Watu wengine wamejifunga na watu na vitu. Yeah. That's why they are not moving. Ndipo saa waendeni mbele. Are you ready to move? Je, uko tayari kuenda? Are you ready to move? Tayari kuenda. Are you ready mbele? to see Jesus? Uko tayari kumuona Yesu. May you see Jesus in your place of work. Uweze kumuona Yesu katika mahali pako pakazi. May you see Jesus in your family. Katika jamii yako. May you see Jesus in your business. Uweze kumuona Yesu katika biashara yako. May you begin to see Jesus in your ministry. Uweze kumuona Yesu katika huduma yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Can I tell you something? Nikwambie jambo. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. It is not everyone that has entangled you. 
sio kila mtu ambaye amefunganishwa na wewe who are marked for your destiny ambao wamewekwa kwa sija ya hatma yako can i repeat that then irudie hilo not everybody who is joined to you sio kila mtu ambaye ameunganishwa na wewe who is marked for your destiny ambaye amelekezwa kwa sababu ya hatma yako your destiny is brighter hatma yako ni kuu whoever is joined to you kuliko yule ameshikana na wewe if they leave you wakikuachilia let them go wacha waende but praise the lord lakini bwana they were not meant hawakuwa wende nawe until the end mpaka ufike mwisho haleluya haleluya tell them wait for me waambie ningojeni and i and my son na mimi na mwana wangu we are in a covenant tuko katika gano let us go wacha tu we shall come back to you and when we come back to you akaporudi we shall not come on the same level tutakuja katika kiwango hiki ready to see jesus tuko tayari kumuona yesu eh eh Some people are not even growing in the ministry. Watu wengine hawakui katika huduma. Because of the people that are surrounding them. Kwa sababu ya watu ambao wamewazingira. You better lose the people. Afadhali upoteze watu. But don't lose Jesus. Lakini usimpoteze Yesu. Can I repeat that? Nirudie hilo. I rather lose the friend. Afadhali nipoteze marafiki. Rather than losing Jesus. Kuliko kumpoteza Yesu. Eh. Eh. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh? Mm? Abraham and Isaac. Abraham na Isaac. It was a covenant between a father and son. Ilikuwa gano kati ya baba na mwanae. The same way, jinsi hivyo. Jesus, Yesu, had a covenant with the father. Alikuwa na gano na baba. So, the analogy of the father and the son in the book of Genesis. Kwa hivyo ile hali ya baba na mwanae katika kitabu cha mwanzo. Is the same analogy in the book of John chapter 19. Ni jinsi hivyo katika Yohana 19. Are you ready for this? Je, uko tayari kwa It is the same analogy. Ni jinsi hivyo hivyo. That is there today. Ambayo iko siku ya leo. Between our Father in heaven. Kuhusu Mungu wetu mbinguni. Hallowed be your name. Jina lako litukuzwe. May your kingdom come. Falme wako uje. Are you ready for Jesus? Uko tayari kwa Yesu. I'm excited when I'm sharing about this. Ninafurahia na kusisimuka ninaposhiriki hili. Because the moment I understand, kwa sababu maana ninapoamini, I understand. Ninapotambua. The moment I have Jesus. Wakati niko na Yesu, I have everything. Niko na yote ninayohitaji. Hey. When I have Jesus, kiwa na Yesu, everything will fix itself. Kila kitu kitaweza kuingiana kwa pamoja. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, I want you to follow this story. Ningependa tufuatilie hadithi hii. Abraham, Abraham took the wood akachukua kuni and placed it on the shoulder of Isaac na akaiyekelea katika mabega yake Isaka and he took the fire kisha akachukua moto and the knife na kisu then they began to walk kisha wakaanza kutembea it is the same way ni jinsi hivyo hivyo jesus the whole of this week yesu wiki hii yote nzima the lord had placed the cross on his shoulder bwana alikuwa amemwekea msalaba katika bega lake he was carrying a wooden cross alikuwa anabeba msalaba all Bao. along yeye yeah, peke yake they were walking together walikuwa kitembea na yesu but when they reach somewhere lakini walipofika mahali isaac said isaka akasema father baba the father turned baba akapinduka he said yes son akasema ndio mwana he said i see the wound nikasema kwamba mimi isaka akasema naona kuni Can I repeat that? Nirudia hiyo. He said I see the wound. Akasema ninaona kuni. But where is the sacrifice? Lakini dhabihu iko wapi? Where is the lamb? Je, mwana kondoo iko wapi? I want you to underline that word I see. Ningependa uzingatie hiyo jina ninaona. You shall only go as far as you can see. Wewe tu utaenda tu kiasi ya jinsi unavyoona. What Did you see when you came in this service today? Je, uliona nini ulipokuja katika ibada siku ya leo? I know there are number of things you are seeing. Kuna vitu ambavyo we uliona. But I want to encourage you. Lakini nataka kuhimiza. After this service. Baada ya ibada hii. Forget about everything else that you came seeing. Sao kila chochote ambacho ulikuja ukiona. Go home seeing Jesus. Rudi nyumbani ukiwa umemwona Yesu. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? You see I see the wood. Nina Isaac akasema ninaona kuni. The wood here kuni hapa represent some of the circumstances inashiria hali ambazo some of the diseases katika maradhi some of the lack of finance kukosa kuwa na fedha some of joblessness kukosa kuwa na ajira what can you see je unaona nini i know every person here naona kila mtu when hapa when you look around you unapotizama there is something you can see kuna jambo ambalo unaweza ona hey, ndio but that is of god lakini kuna mungu is that you forget about what you are seeing sahau kile unaona begin to see your purpose anza kuona kusudi lako our lako. purpose is jesus kusudi letu ni yesu eh yeah. i see the wood ninaona kuni amen 
Amen. Abraham told him. Abraham akamwambia Isaka. My son, mwanangu, God will provide for himself. Mungu atajitwalia yeye mwenyewe. Can I say something? Niseme jambo. In other word, kwa maneno mengine, Isaac perspective kwa ile hali ya mtazamo wa Isaka was different ilikuwa tofauti Abraham perspective kutoka ile hali ya mtazamo wa Abraham I know even I'm, as I'm sharing this hata ninaposhiriki hili there is something somebody who is doubting kuna mtu ambaye yuko na shaka you are talking about Jesus unaenda kumsu Yesu but he has not intervened in lakini Yesu hajaingilia hali I know you may have a different perspective unaweza kuwa na maono tofauti the same way Isaac had a different perspective since to Isaac alikuwa na maono tofauti but During this moment, lakini kwa wakati huu, there was a paradigm shift. Kulikuwa na ile hali ya kubadilika. The Lord wanted to transform. Baba alikuwa anataka kubadilisha. Isaac perspective is mtazamo wa Isaac. Become the father's perspective. Iwe aone kama baba yake. God change your perspective today. Baba badilisha mtazamo siku ya leo. Something that is making you to doubt God. Kile ambacho unafanya utie shaka kwa Mungu. Something that is making you to be discouraged. Kile ambacho unafanya uvunjike moyo. Stop seeing that. Wacha kuiona hiyo. Begin to see Jesus. Sasa kumuona Yesu. Yeah. You need to change your perspective. Lazima mtazamo From the way you see things. Sisi unavyoona mambo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your perspective is changed. Wakati mtazamo wako unabadilika. You shall glorify God. Utaweza kumtukuza Mungu. In the midst of the trouble. Katikati ya shida. When you come to the impossibility. Unapoangalia mambo ya shida. You shall stand in the midst. Utasimama katikati. And glorify God. Unaweza kumtukuza Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One time Jesus looked at a certain man. Who was blind. Yesu akamwangalia mtu ambaye alikuwa ni kipofu. He said, "This one Huyu he's not this way. Hayuko katika hali hii. Because of his sin. Kwa sababu ya dhambi zake. Or the sin of his mother. Ama of the parents. Ama dhambi za wazazi wake. But he is this way. Lakini uko jinsi hii. So that the father can be glorified. Deposa baba akaweze kutukuzwa. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. All things work together for good. Mambo yote utendeka kwa wema. To those who love God. Kwa wale wanaompenda Mungu. If you love God can I hear an amen here? Kama unampenda Yesu unasikia amen. If you love God say amen. Kama unampenda Mungu sema amen. To those who love God. Kwa wale wanaompenda Mungu. Na wameitwa kulingana na kusudi lake. Amen. Amen. That's normal. Yule kawaida. Even the mic for the mic to switch off. Hata ndio mic kipaza sauti ikatae. It works for good. Inatendeka kwa wema. To those who love God. Wale wanampenda Mungu. And they are called. Na wameitwa according to his purpose. Kulingana na kusudi lake. Maybe there something that was happening in the Labda kuna kitu iko kifanyika katika hali hiyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to glorify God yeah. even in your difficulties? Uko tayari kumtukuza Mungu katika hali yako ambayo ni ngumu. When you praise God. Unapomsifu Mungu. When things are not well with you. Mambo ambayo sio vyema nawe. To God it seems. Kwa Mungu inaonekana. To be the deepest level of worship. Unaonekana katika kiwango kizuri cha kuabudu. You stand in the midst of the fire. Unasimama kati ya moto. And say hallowed be your name. Na useme jina lako litukuzwe. May you be glorified. Utukuzwe. Even if things are the way they are today. Hata kama mambo yako jinsi ilivyo leo. Said be your name. Jina lako libarikiwe. Because what I'm seeing today. Kwa sababu naona leo. It is temporal. Ni kia. Compared. Ni ni hali tu hivi hivi. It is temporal. Ai ai kai sana. It is for few days. Ni kwa siku chache. Compared. Ukilinganisha. The goal that I have. Kani ile lengo ambalo niko nalo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our purpose is eternal. Kusudi letu ni la milele. Eh. Sickness comes and it goes. Ugonjwa unakuja na unaenda. Eh? Eh? Diseases come and they go. Maradhi yanakuja na yanaenda. Joblessness comes and they go. Kukosa kazi kuna kuja na kunaenda. Can I add another one? Niongeze nyingine. Lack of breakthrough comes and it goes. Ile kukosa mpenyo inakuja na inaenda. Discouragement comes and it goes. Kuvunjika moyo inakuja na inaenda. Depression comes and it goes. Songo wa mawazo unakuja na unaenda. I don't know what is oppressing you somebody. Ni nini kinakufinya siku ya leo? It comes and it goes. Inakuja na inaenda. But Jesus. Lakini Yesu. But Jesus. Lakini Yesu. But Jesus. Lakini Yesu. He is the same yesterday. Ye ule wa jana. Today. Leo. And forever. Na hata milele. Things will change around us. Mambo yatabadilika. But Jesus. Lakini Yesu. Will never change. Yatabadilika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many love Jesus? Ngapi wetu tunampenda? Say Yesu. hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I see the wood. Ninaona ile kidonda. I see oh, the wood. wood. Oh ninaona kuni. Where is the fire? Moto uko wapi? In other word, kwa maneno mengine. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, we don't walk by sight. Sisi hatutembei kwa kile ambacho tunaona. We walk by faith. Tunatembea kiwa na imani. Say amen. Sema amina. Recently around November. 
Hivi majuzi mwezi wa kumi na moja I was giving uh, the servant of God the testimony. Nilikuwa nampatia mudumu wake Mungu shuhuda. I was driving towards Kitengela. Nilikuwa nikiendesha gari nikielekea Kitengela and a certain drunkard man came my way. Na mtu ambaye ni mlevi akaja njiani. It was at night. Ilikuwa usiku. And he hit me. Kisha akanigonga. We were some we were with other people there. Tulikuwa na watu wengine pale. Our car was right off. Gari yetu ikaharibika kabisa. Right completely. Kabisa. But something I remember. Lakini jambo ambalo nakumbuka. There's a, you know sometimes when the accident happened you forget about many things. Unajua wakati ajali inatokea unasahau mambo mengi. But something I can remember. Lakini kitu naweza kumbuka. I shouted Jesus. Nilipaza sauti nikaita Yesu. From there I don't I don't remember what happened. Kutoka hapo sikumbuki kile kilitendeka. And what I believe. Lakini kile na mimi. The moment I shout Jesus. Wakati nilipopaza sauti kumuita Yesu. He took over. Yeye yeah, akachukua usukani. Eh? Yeah. Some there are some places kuna mahala you cannot help yourself. Wezi jisaidia. Wacha hii tunasema kwamba Mungu anasaidia na ajisaidia. Hakuna. It's not scripture. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. This is a key saying proverb. Gaya taida gaya taida tie. Mungu anasaidia ambaye amejisaidia. I think the moment I shouted Jesus. Wakati nilipopaza sauti nikaita Yesu. Over. Akachukua usukani. I found myself outside the car. Maana nilijipata nikiwa nje ya gari taking some photos. Nikipiga picha. Imagine I've been hit. Hebu kisia mimi nimegongwa na gari lakini niko nje na napiga picha. Eh? Hmm. Then when the policeman came, wakati askari alipokuja, he kindly rush this man to the hospital. Wakasema tafadhali mpelekeni huyu hospitali kwa haraka. He's the type that dies. Hawa ndio wale ambao huwa wanakufa. They, may, they pretend they are strong but they are not. Wanajifanya wako na nguvu lakini hawako. But how many people knows here when you have Jesus you shall not die. Lakini watu wangapi wanajua ukiwa na Yesu huwezi kufa. But you shall live to declare his works. Lakini utaishi kutenga kutena maneno yake. Can I say something? Je, niseme jambo. You may die because of your title. Unaweza kufa kwa sababu ya ile jina ambalo unaitwa nayo. But if you have the purpose who is Jesus. Lakini kama uko na kusudi ambaye ni Yesu. We never die. Haitakufa. God did not call you for the title ministry. Mungu akukuita kwa sababu ya kuitwa majina ya kwa huduma. for the influential ministry. Alikuita kwa sababu ya ile huduma ambayo zile kujika. You cannot influence people with your title. Wezi kuwa na mguso kwa watu ukiwa na cheo. Eh? Eh? The title pastor Charles did not help me there. Ile tile mchungaji Charles haikumsaidia pale. Influence that was in me having Jesus. Lakini is what saved me there. Kile kilimsaidia ni yeye kuwa na Yesu ndani yake. I say Jesus. Kasema Yesu. So they rushed me to the, the nearby hospital there. Wakanipeleka kwa hospitali iliyokuwa karibu. We cannot attend to this. Wakasema huyu hatuwezi mshughulikia. Rush to Kenyatta. Perekeni Kenyatta. I remember my brother came. Nakumbuka ndugu yangu alikuja. It was that I think I think because of the family there's a time that is only the family that will we remain with you. Na nashukuru Mungu kwa maana kuna wakati tu jamii ndio itabaki nawe. He came so fast. Akaja kwa haraka mbio. So they took me to Kenyatta. Kisha wakanipeleka Kenyatta. And while they were diagnosing me. Walipokuwa wakiniangalia. My faith was very active. Imani yangu ilikuwa juu sana. I remember when they were taking the samples of the blood. Nakumbuka walipokuwa kuchukua damu. I asked the, I asked one of the nurses there. Nikamuuliza muuguzi mmoja pale. I hope I will, I will not be admitted here. And uh, hope ya kwamba mimi sitalazwa hapa. He told me that you are too far my friend. Akasema uko mbali sana ndugu. You are taking the x-rays. Hata tujachukua x-rays. What are you talking about? Je, una nena kuhusu nini? But my faith was telling me. Lakini imani yangu ilikuwa inaniambia. He can do the impossible. Anaweza fanya ile iwezekani. To become possible. Ifanyike kuwa kufanyika. During this Easter. Kuhusu Pasaka hii. This Jesus I'm talking about. Yesu ninamnenea. He is going to turn your impossibility. Anaweza kubadilisha mambo ya zekani. To become Ibo! Uwezekane. Hey! Hey! There are some things you shall be announcing. Kuna mambo mtakao kitangaza. They think you are out of your mind. Wanafikiria kwanza umetoka na kini. I said, nimesema, when you are going home, unaponenda nyumbani, begin to mention things of faith. Anza kunena mambo ya imani. Don't talk about the circumstances. Usianze kunena kuhusu hali. Stand on the circumstances. Mama juu ya hali. And begin to declare to no, people. Na uanze kutangazia watu. I feel this is what is happening. Na hisi kwamba hiyo itatendeka. People of faith. Watu wa imani. They lead. Wanaongoza. They are not led. Wewe hawaongozi. Can I repeat that? Wacha nirudie. Men of faith. Watu wa imani. They lead. Wanaongoza. They are not led. Hawaongozi. Hey. Hey. Don't wait for doctors. Usingoje daktari. To give you the way. Aweza kupatia njia. But you need to tell them. Unataka fao kuambia. It's good treat me. Ni vizuri unitibu. Treat me. Tibu. But I feel inside me. Lakini I am healed. Mimi nimepona. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hey. Hey. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Do you know 
What will happen when you are led by the circumstances? It will inflict fear in you. Fear is the opposite of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. The purpose of God it is not for you to fear. We shall no longer fear. But you need to be bold in him. Can I mention this? The danger of having fear. You shall begin to visit everyone. Seeking for advice. But if you have faith, you shall go ahead of them and tell them this is the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I also say something? People who are founded on fear, even if they reach there, they shall not build the altars. They shall begin to build the towers there. The towers it is for self exaltation. But the altar. It is for submission. When you reach where Jesus is, you don't need to build the tower. Build the altar. Submit to him. You need to reach a star point and say, All that I have, the healing that I have today, the money that I have today, is all about you. It's all about you. Not all about me. Hey! Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Can you shout a man full of faith? Can you shout a big man full of faith? Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I didn't give us place for fear. But do you know something? God honors his word. Mungu huwa anafanya neno lake litimia. Ili litimia. Anything that you speak in the name of Jesus. The Bible says. Biblia nasema. In the beginning there was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God himself. You need to stand on every circumstance. Can I declare something? The kind of journey we are going, it is not defensive. It is offensive. You need to go and search where those circumstances are. One by one. And stand on it. Declare the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A king after king after king after king. The Bible says. Since the day of the John Baptist. The kingdom of God. Have suffered violence. And now violence. Shall take it by force. You cannot take it when you are defensive. You need to go to where they are. Go to where the sick people are. Stand on them. Tell them the word of the Lord says he was stricken so that I can be healed. You need to go to where poor people are. Tell them from today you shall not be poor. Because the Bible says he became poor so that I become richer. Do you love Jesus? South Jesus. Hey. Hey. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Become the mouthpiece of God. You need to speak on his behalf. Stand on every circumstance. Declare to it. I know it is impossible here. I know I have HIV. But I want to declare to you. Jesus says. Yes, I am healed. I am healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not defensive. Kujikinga. You are waiting for the deceit to fight you. Unangoja. You are only defending yourself. Unangoja. You need to, 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 to go to where they are. Azimo wende mahali ziko. I know the devil is not happy with this. Najua shetani afreshu na hii. During Easter. Kuhusu siku ya pasaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many people love Jesus? Watu wangapo wana mpenda Yesu. Praise the Lord. He was inspiring faith in Isaac. Yeye yeah, alikuwa yeah, kiyaka imani. Isaac. Have some faith in God. You cannot please God. If you don't have faith in Him. Are you ready to please God? Begin to develop some faith in Him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this was a journey. Na hii ilikuwa ni mwendo. Don't get tired. Usichoke. On walking with God. Kutembea naye Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Are you ready for this? Je, uko tayari kwa hili? If you have Jesus. Kama uko naye Yesu, you will begin to have the evidence of the in of the invisible utaanza kuwa na ile ushuhudi ya mambo ambayo yaonekani because the bible says maana biblia inasema faith is imani ni what is faith imani ni nini it is the substance nile hali ya of things that are hoped for mambo ambayo sisi tunatarajia it is the evidence nile hali ya kuonekana of things that are not seen ya mambo ambayo yaonekani do you know what happened to me unajua nini kilitendekea after they took my samples bana kuchukua ile hali ya ngo damu waliniacha nikiomba and i thank god because of those who are surrounding me even pastor joshua was na shukuru mungu kwa wale walinzingira hata mpenda joshua i had a team of intercessors they were interceding for us nilikuwa na timu ambayo ilikuwa ikiniombea by the way your success or your failure ile hali yako ya kukua ama kosa kuenda can be determined by somebody who is who is, around, who is next to you inaweza ashiriwa na yule mungu ambaye mtu ambaye yuko karibu nawe show me your company Nionyeshe wale unaokana wao. I tell you the kind of a person you are. Na mimi nitakwambia jinsi wewe ulivyo. People who sees the vision. Watu ambao wanaona maono. They don't walk with visionless people. Hawatembei na watu hawana maono. They walk with men with vision. Wanatembea na watu ambao wako na maono. Can I say something? Niseme jambo. If you are victorious. Kama wewe ni utakuwa na vision. People who are victorious. Tembea na watu ambao ni wakuwa washindi. Hey. Hey. Remember you are fighting giants. Kumbuka imani yako katika jitu. Surround yourself also. Jizungire. With the giants of prayers. Na majitu ambao ni waombezi. Who is praying for you? Ambaye anakuombea. They were interceding for me. Walikuwa kiniombea. We were on the same page. Tulikuwa we were speaking the same language. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. We interceded. How many know? Wangapi wewe mnajua? The moment they went and took my sample. Wakati walichukua ile damu yangu. And they extracted na X-ray. They put it on the wall there. Wakaitweka katika kuta pale. One of them said, Mmoja wao akasema, This man of God is safe. Huyu mtu wa Mungu yuko sawa. The level of the level of injury that you have. Kiwango cha ile uh, hali ya kuumi kwake shall be handled at home. Hii inawezekana ishughulikiwe pale nyumbani. Who is report shall you begin believe? Je, unaamini ripoti ya nani? In fact I told them nikawaambia on friday i'm traveling to rwanda ijuma mimi ninaenda rwanda i'm going to do that some trainings there ninaenda kufanya training pale i didn't stop to go because i was sick mimi sikuacha kwenda kwa sababu nilikuwa mgonjwa i remember i traveled nakumbuka nilienda although i had a lot of pains hata ingawa nilikuwa na uchungu and you don't try this at home usijaribu hii nyumbani that was only pastor charles hiyo ni mchungaji charles i was training while holding the table like this yeah nilikuwa tu najishikilia kwa kuta hivi while i was feeling the pain lakini nilipokuwa nikihisi uchungu i was chungu. reminding him nilikuwa namkumbusha that all this i'm doing na kwamba haya yote ninayotenda is because of you ni kwa sababu yako wewe if i die today nikifa leo it is gain ni kwa kwangu mimi ni na kama nitakuishi ni wewe who has resurrected ambao umefufuka hallelujah hallelujah the same way you resurrected jinsi hiyo tu ulivyofufuka resurrect also my health fufua pia hallelujah how many people know wangapi wengi mnajua that word carries power na kwamba neno lako linabeba nguvu god honors your word mungu ana whatever you say it shall come to pass itakuja kutimia hallelujah hallelujah I, that's how I got healed. Hivyo ndivyo jinsi nilivyopona. I'm preaching today. Niposa na ubiri leo. Some people can die so early. Watu wengine wanaweza kufa mapema. Because they are subdued by the circumstances. Sababu wameshindwa na hali. You need to dominate the Bible says. Biblia inasema that and God bless them. Mungu Mungu akubariki. And he told them be fruitful. Na kuambia mzaane replenish Nawiri. and have dominion na muweze kutawala. God in make you to be subdued. Mungu hakufanya wewe uweze kushindwa. To be to, to dominate other things can i say something church sema jambo kanisa make sure that you are always on the top jo hakikisha kwamba wewe uko juu eh can i say that in a, in a, can i repeat that nirudie hilo every time you encounter something kila wakati unakumbana na kitu make sure you are on the top hakikisha kwamba uko juu look where the ladders are for that circumstance tazama mahali ile iko when they call me here i pass through those stairs wanaponitia hapa napitia hii stairs in any circumstance katika ile hali look where the stairs are tazama mahali stairs ziko because you're not supposed to be under kwa sababu ufai kuwa chini you are supposed to be above unafaa kuwa juu jesus yesu is not under hayuko chini jesus yesu declare this publicly tangaza hili kwa mwati he declared alitangaza while he won't stop there alipokuwa pale juu not under 
Christianity hey, hey. can you also make a public declaration I shall not die Mimi but I shall live Lakin to declare the works of God hey, hey. one time Siku moja. Wakati moja. Jesus told Peter Yesu Petero, assuming that I'm Jesus and he's Peter he told Peter while they were stepping on the water Peter said can I come to where you are Jesus said come it is the same that is happening the same thing that is happening in our service today there is somebody who is getting conviction can I get to these things of faith so Peter began to come come slowly Kanza kuja. Come slowly. Kanza kuja Are you pole seeing pole. Peter? Coming towards Jesus. Akija, but when he reached there. Alipofika pale. Look at this. Tazama. While he reached there. Alipofika pale. Peter began to sink. Petero akanza kuzama. What could have happened? Jeni, nini kineza kwa kilitendeka? While Peter was coming from there. Peter, Peter, kuja kutoka hapale, out to here, mpaka hapa, I want to believe amini, he was full of faith. Imani. But while he reached here, alipofika hapa, he engaged his common sense. Kanza kunena na hali yake yakili. What God wants to do for you, Kila mungu it goes beyond your common sense. Zaidi ya mambo yako ya if, if what is happening to you, Kama kile kina kutendekea, make sense to you, ina for, 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 then that means it is not from God. Things of God, they go beyond our common sense. They are supernatural. Hey, hey. Receive this faith in the name of Jesus. I'm saying receive this faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear Jesus say on the top of the tree, I am no longer in the grave. Come to where I am. Even if you have never given your life to him, it's a high kwake. chance he's telling you come come to where you are we are not saved by our works we are saved by the grace of God you are not saved by your works you are not saved by your works you are the grace of God hallelujah hallelujah he began to sink. But Jesus got a hold of him. Can I tell you something? There is still a second chance. Even, Even if you try, if you try and, you and you began to sink in your circumstances, I want to speak prophetically that even if you are sinking, a season is coming and a season is now where Jesus will resurrect you. Hey, hey. It doesn't matter how deep you are in your circumstances. He's going to resurrect you. Hey, hey. He's doing his hand like this. Come, come Peter. Come. 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 I want to rescue you. Come. come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says that I'm in the book of Revelation 3.20. I am at the door. I am knocking. Ninabisha. If you open. Ukifungua. If you open, ukifungua mlango, I shall come in and sup with you. Nitakuja ndani nile pamoja nawe. Hallelujah. 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 I on this. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. I shall sup with you. Mimi nitahudumu pamoja nanyi. May God give us a revelation Mungu ufunuo of the things that he has preserved for us. Ya mambo sisi. Allow me end on this note. Na hapa. Abraham told him Abraham wakamwambia, the Lord will provide for himself. Bwana atajitualia yeye mwenyewe. Eh? 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 The Lord Bwana will not even use so and so to hata, come to you. No. Hata tumia nani, he nani will provide for himself atajitualia yeye mwenyewe for every person here kwa kila mmoja wetu hapa whom god has given the vision mungu ambaye mpeka maono the lord is awaiting for you bwana anakusubiri on the other side katika ngamo ile nyingine with the provision katika akiwa amekutualia but the connecting tissue lakini ile ambayo inaunganisha between your vision kati ya maono yako and the honor of the provision na mwenye ule kutualia it is your level of trust ni kiwango cha kuamini hallelujah hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord the more you trust in him zaidi unapomwamini who was crucified bali sulubiwa who died bali kufa who resurrected the more he shall come 
zaidi with your provision anakuja na kukutwalia the word here is trust in him neno hapa ni kumwamini yeye i shall trust in him mimi nitamwamini you need to come to this point of saying unafaa kuja mahali pa kusema i trust in man na kwamba niliamini watu they disappointed me wakaniangusha but today in this service lakini leo katika ibada hii i turn to jesus napinduka yesu i shall trust in you nitakuamini yesu hallelujah hallelujah jesus will never disappoint yesu you yesu hatawahi kuangusha man can disappoint you watu wanaweza kuvunja moyo kings can disappoint you kings wanaweza kuvunja moyo the government can is upon you government inaweza kuvunja moyo jesus lakini yesu will never disappoint you yeye hawezi akakongosha the bible says biblia inasema cast is he who trust in man amelaniwa yule ambaye anaamini binadamu you need to change your focus today lazima utbadilishe mwelekeo wako the people you have been trusting in watu ambao umekuwa ukiamini turn to the our purpose who is jesus pinduka kwa kusudi ambaye ni yesu trust in him uweze kuwa ndani yake haleluya Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Where do you trust him? Je, imani yako iko wapi? Where did he trust him? Wewe aliye alimwamini wapi? Where did they trust him? Waliwamini wapi? In a place. Mahali. In a place. Mahali. In a place. Mahali. In a place. Mahali. So, that tells me. Kwa hivyo inaniambia. The place is called Jehovah will provide for himself up to today. Jehovah Jireh up to today. Hapo mahali panaitwa Jehovah Jireh mpaka siku ya leo. Speak to your life today. Wacha nenea maisha yako leo. What the Lord is awaiting. Kati bwana bado anasubiri. For you to encounter a place. Kila bwana anasubiri ni wewe uweze kufika mahali ambapo unaweza kama. It doesn't matter where you are. Haijalishi uko wapi. Just look for a place. Wewe tafuta tu mahali. I'm talking about a place. Ninanenea kuhusu mahali. Stand on that place. Mama mahali hapo. And declare. Na uweze kutangaza. I have been trusting on myself. Nimekuwa nikijiamini. But from today. Ni kuanzia sasa. I trust in you. Namwamini Mungu. God will come through for you. Mungu atakuja kusaidia. Hey, even if you are standing on water. Hata kama umesimama juu ya maji. That place Hapo mahali the Lord will come through for you. Bwana atakuja na kusaidia. Even if you are standing in fire. Hata kama umesimama kwa moto. Like Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego. Kama Meshach na Abednego. They stood in a place. Walisimama mahali. But Jesus. Lakini Yesu. They trusted in Jesus. Walimwamini Yesu. Can you trust in Jesus today? Je, unaweza muamini Yesu leo? Who do you trust in? Je, unaamini nani? Let's stand on our feet. Wacha tusimame kwa miguu yetu. Father we bless your name. Baba tunabariki jina lako. Thank you because you have many that to our life. Asante kwa maana umehudumia maisha yetu. I want you to take a moment. Penda uchukue fursa. Go before the presence of God. Enenda mbele ya uwepo wake Mungu. Look unto Jesus. Mtazame Yesu. The Lord who has resurrected. Bwana ambaye amefufuka. Tell him I trust in you. Mwambie kwamba mimi ninakuamini. I have trust I have tried my own way. Nimejaribu njia zangu mimi. I couldn't have made it. Singeweza. But today lakini leo I trust I trust I trust na, I trust. Na mimi na mimi. I trust na in you. you. I trust na, in you. Na kuamini wewe. Just take a moment tell Jesus I trust in you. Tukwa tu wakati muambie Yesu na kuamini. He shall comfort you. Yeye ataweza kufariji. He shall encourage you. Yeye ataweza kuhimiza. He shall heal you. Yeye atakuponya. Trust in Jesus. Muamini Yesu. Trust in Jesus. Muamini Yesu. Trust in Jesus. Muamini Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kini tasama wakuone wewe unifinyage speak to the law nene kwa kibwana Allow Jesus to work in your life. Ruhusu Yesu afanye kazi ndani ya maisha yako.
Everybody just lift up your hands in the presence of God. Lift up your voice and tell him that God I surrender. I trust in you. I trust in you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we put our whole trust in you. Thank you for dying on the cross. To give us hope. And so today we trust in you. We trust you with our lives. For our lives have no meaning without you. Today we confess that you are everything in our lives. And today we are standing in a place that Jehovah will provide. Father, thank you for your vision in our lives. We thank you for leading us. And thank you for speaking to us. You might be in this place today and you have not given your life to Jesus. He is standing at the door of your heart and knock. If only you can open up your heart to him. Jesus is ready to transform your life for good. And the best season for you to give your life to him. It is this season that, that we are celebrating his death and his resurrection. The best gift that, gift that you can give to somebody who has died for you. It is to live for him. And so are you in this congregation today? And you have never made a decision to surrender your life to Jesus. Just as he told Peter, he is standing here telling you. Come. 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 So we would like to see by the show of your hand if you are here and you like to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We have hands in the congregation. Please, ushers, help us to bring them here. Church. Hallelujah. If, if you have made up your mind to give your life to Jesus, just walk to the front. Just come, just come. Just come. Just come. You're not too deep to destroy that Jesus cannot save you. And the purpose of this meeting is this. Anybody else in our congregation? Anybody else in our congregation? We have all time for you. Hallelujah. If only one soul can come to Jesus. I'm telling you this, this meeting is worth. And right now there is a celebration in heaven. Right now, right now as we, as we talk. And so I want to request Pastor Kerei to lead him in prayer. And for the sake of those people that are following us online. Please, you will repeat the same prayer after Pastor Kerei. So give him a mic. Na hii maombi huyu ndugu ameokoka. Na tumusupport hata kama wewe muokoka, uombe maombi kama unaokoka saa hii. Tuko pamoja. Huyu ni ndugu wetu, sio yeye mwenye dhambi. Na kama uko pale unasikia kuokoka, unasikia uokoke, unasikia usiokoke, kuja hapa saa hii tuombe. Kuna huyo mwingine mmoja unasikia kuokoka unasikia hutaki Amen. kuja hapa kuja kuja tukimbia kimbia kimbia eh na wewe uko hapa ninakuona kuja 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 haraka run to jesus na nyinyi watu wa online pia we will turudie and tutasema hii na Kiswahili so say after me na all of us are going to repeat say Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu Nimesikia habari zako leo Nimesikia habari zako leo Ni wewe peke yako Ni wewe peke yako Uokozi Uokozi Mimi ni mwenye dhambi Mimi ni mwenye dhambi Na sasa nimeamini kwa roho yangu Na sasa nimeamini kwa roho yangu 
Waja tusimamie hapo hii ni maombi huyu ndugu anafanya. So he is praying and we are supporting. Amesikia kwa masikio, ameamini kwa roho na sasa anasema kwa mdomo. Sasa anaokoka. Vitu tatu. Unasikia, unaamini, unasema kwa mdomo. Sasa tuseme tena. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Nimesikia habari zako. Nimesikia habari zako. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Na wewe ndio mwokozi. Na wewe ndio mwokozi. Ninahitaji kuokoka. Nahitaji kuokoka. Ninaamini sasa kwa roho yangu. Ninaamini sasa kwa roho yangu. Unisahemu, unisamehe dhambi zangu zote. Unisamehe dhambi zangu zote. Na ninasema kwa mdomo wangu. Na ninasema kwa mdomo wangu. Sasa hivi Bwana Yesu. Sasa hivi Bwana Yesu. Andika jina langu. Andika jina langu. Katika kitabu chako. Katika kitabu chako. Cha uzima mbinguni. Cha uzima mbinguni kutoka sasa kutoka sasa mimi ni wako mimi ni wako shaitani shaitani nimekataa maneno yako nimekataa maneno yako mimi sasa ni mtoto wa Mungu mimi sasa ni mtoto wa Mungu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu amen amen tupigie makofi narudi narudi Pastor Kerei mwambie arudisha microphone. Narudi. 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 Kutoka. Kutoka mali. Sasa. Sasa. Karibishe. Us to lift up our hands in the presence of Jesus and give him a shout of praise. Wait, 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 wait. Now you are sometimes easy swags in a sumbua. Leo tu ni meivanu wa sumbua, sumbua kidogo, amen. Lift up your hands to Jesus. If haku kwa na sababu nyingine ya kuselebrate, There was no anything to celebrate. Tutam celebrate kwa sababu ya huyu moja ameokoka leo. We will celebrate because of that. Ilo mikono yako njuko Bwana. Nikihesabu 1 2 3 upigie Yesu kelele. When I count 1 2 3 just lift a shout to Jesus. Unaweza ukaruka ruka. You can jump. Maana baada hii kuna lunch. Because after this there is lunch. Mimi mazao there. kuna lunch. Tell your neighbor there is lunch. 1 2 3 wameamua kutuenjoy. Hebu hebu tufanye tizi tufanye tizi kidogo. Tufanye. Jesus name so sweet. Emmanuel name so Jesus name. Jesus
transition but we have the whole day leo niliwambia kuna protocol i warned you nabia mwanza ko you are warned ulipatiwa onyo ni wa warned ulipatiwa onyo
to the climax of your voice shout hallelujah and please prolong it this is what makes the devil mad now to the count of three I want you to shout hallelujah one two please shout hallelujah finish should we finish are you are you hungry i love you lord for you my is never fails me oh my day from the moment from the moment that i wait till i never hear worship until you cannot sing English you cannot sing Swahili you just you just transition to your mother tongue I feel like traveling to Nyeri right now you know there are some things that you address in your mother tongue <laughs> There are many things that we might not be sure. That one thing is certain. That Jesus is here. He is here. I'm saying Jesus is here. And Jesus can never be here and you live with your sickness. You are living here with Jesus and not with your sickness in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you are here for the first time, 
we cannot apologize that is how we go crazy we, we just love Jesus without an apology so when it comes to matters worship we worship we are radical radical Radical. Kwa kwa fujo. Fujo. Are you happy to be in the house of God? Uko, unajua wakati tuko kule ndani tunasamanga the house of God. Lakini hata hapa si hapa ni nje ya Mungu. Uko ndani ya Mungu nje. Mubarikiwa. So I want to appreciate the presence of visitors. If you are visiting with us for the first time, we love visitors we want to see you by the show of your hands so if you are a visitor visiting for the first time lift up your hand lift up your hand wow we have visitors all over please let me ask you I will not give you the mic but will you just stand up where you are we want to see you in a better way just stand up hey, hey. I, I, pre I appreciate them appreciate them visitors are all over thank you very much for choosing to worship with us today you have been served with a card you will fill in that empty you know hapo mahali hapa kujazo hapo ujaze and then uiache hapa when you fill the other one that has program church program you can go with it Use it as a bookmark. After this service, you are requested by the, the, the person in charge of greeting ministry, that is Pastor James Kirei. That handsome young man that is standing there. The only person with a coat of many color like Joseph. <laughs> He will be waiting to receive you at our visitors lounge. And something special is prepared for you. He has told me that he has a capacity of even, you know, accommodating 100 visitors. So don't don't feel like utaka hapa mfuate tu utabarikiwa. So let's appreciate our visitors one more time as they take their seats. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wangapo umebarikiwa na neno? How many of us are blessed with the word? Pande iko kuna delay kidogo. Wangapo wabarikiwa na neno? How many people have been blessed with the word? In case you did not know. Kama uko unajua. The one who has preached is my brother. Am aliyehubiri leo ni ndugu yake. Kiburi tatumaliza. So thank you so much Pastor Charles we are so happy to have you Something that I did not say actually Pastor Charles is the one who brought me to Cornerstone Let's appreciate God bless you I'm still interceding for him Apanuliwe mipaka so I want us to worship God with our substance. Ashes will be coming to where you are with envelopes. Package your tithe, your offering. And since today we do not have screens outside here. Uh, to direct you on how to give via M-Pesa, I'm the screen, so look at me. If you want to give a pay bill, this is the pay bill for the for your offering and for your tithe. And by the way, we are still giving towards the wall. So if you want to give towards the wall, you can see one of our leaders, one of our leaders, those ministers that are standing here. And they will direct you if you want to give via M via Mpesa. But if you want to give cash, you can write on that envelope, give your contribution towards the wall and write wall. They'll give you the pay bill number. So this is the pay bill for offering. 
Even those that are following us online, be, uh, it's, it is important you worship God with our substance. It is 8 6, I read in English, 8 6 2 8 4 8. The pay bill, I repeat again. 8 6 2 8 4 8. I repeat again for those people that are slow. Eight. Nane. Six. Sita. Two. Billy. Eight. Nane. Four. Ne. Eight. Nane. And for those that Simuzao Zilko Zimehang, Mana Nitekino. It is eight. Nane. Six. Sita. Two. Billy. Eight. Nane. Four eight. That is your the pay bill. So <laughs> stream in your offering and God will bless you. And if you like to send directly, this is our, our office line. Zero seven two six one eight five five two nine three one eight five three. Those are the numbers. So I believe that you've already packaged your offering. So I want to request all of us to be upstanding. The service is not, is not yet over. After giving our offering, actually I'm going to give priority to those people that are being baptized. Baptized. You know my English, my English teachers sit here. Upper <laughs> so they correct me. So uh, and, and and plus the those people that are doing that ministry, Pastor Randy and the others, you can give your offering first after this prayer, together with the people that are getting baptized. Immediately you give your offering. Go back to your sitting area. I'll give the next instructions. Amen. So stand up on your feet. I see somebody saying, Pasi imehang imehang. Do your numbers as Eight six. 2848 that is a pay bill number <laughs> so stand up on your feet everybody just lift up your offering to God all right just lift up your offering to God Father, we are standing in your presence today. The greatest sacrifice that you offered was the sacrifice of your son. There is nothing that we can give to equal that sacrifice. Today we are standing in your presence to thank you for all things that you have done in our lives. Thank you for blessing us. You've blessed us with the work of our hands. You've blessed our businesses. You've blessed our careers. Today we come to you with our offerings not because we want you to bless us but we are coming to thank you because you have blessed us already and so receive our offerings receive our tithes let every giver be blessed let them find favor let them find grace in whatever they do let it be the same to those that do not have anything today I pray that you may provide for their needs and father let nobody in our midst lack anything for you've spoken to us that you are giving us a place Jehovah Jireh and so Lord we thank you it is in Jesus name we pray and believe Amen so we are coming to come down the baskets are here just come drop your offering for the male boy child those that are being baptized you will be given direction by minister Jeff Jeff. Minister Jeff is standing here for the ladies. You'll be, be given direction by Catherine Madenge who is walking. Yes, yes. Give them direction as you change. 
Catherine Madenge and Catherine Karaoke, they'll be giving you direction. After you give your offering, go back to your sitting area. Yes, and for the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes, we are going to go crazy for Jesus. So, usikai chini. Where's your mweshimiwa? Don't sit. And please join in to the train. Is it to the train? Am I in the train? Good. Ebu tu kwa na na Queens kada Queens kada wa Caribbean. Malkia kada tafadali. Kuja kuja. Songa songa apa monene monene songa apa. Hivi. Sasa moja. Oja ni kupatia direction. Hi mogi ni nenda hivi. Inenda hivi ina zungu kai hivi sawa. Ni sawa. Caribbean Queens kada. Malkia kada. Wini wini tafadali simama. Jamani na unajua ni department ya kona mna gani hi. Good. Dia how Queens wala kuja. Wini si mama, pigia ni wini makofi mazuri Dawea Good Haya, tuende kazi Hei buwana wangu nita kuimbia Hei buwana wangu nita kuimbia Wakati ningalina pumuzi nita kuimbia Wakati ningalina pumuzi nita kuimbia Hei buwana wangu nita kuimbia Mwana Utabaki ya mungu, utabaki ya mungu, wa milele 